Michael, as we get set to close here today, from your perspective, what takes a greater leap of faith, being a creationist or being an evolutionist? Oh, goodness, being an evolutionist. Sir Fred Hoyle summed it up very, very well, who is the inventor of the steady state theory of the Big Bang. He said it's as likely that life evolved on Earth as it is that a tornado going through a junkyard would fully assemble a Boeing 747 from the parts therein. That belief in evolution takes an enormous leap of faith. Believing that a true man in space-time history died and resurrected from the dead, the historical evidence is so overwhelming, I don't know how people can't believe it.